right, this is Robert Hodge, the host of Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Picks here on FM 93.5, The Bird, and WMBG AM 740. We are Williamsburg's radio station. And today I have a special treat for you. This is a special episode of this show because we have Williamsburg's favorite band here. And I'm not kidding. Good Shot Judy is here, and you know they have created such waves. And I'll tell you what, in the last year, the tidal wave is getting bigger. And I'm so proud of what you guys do as local part of the local scene because you are just giving everybody in Williamsburg all kinds of things to talk about and dance to and sing along with. And it's just marvelous to have you here. Welcome, gentlemen. And thank ladies. you so much. Thank you, Robert. Great to be here. Well, gosh, you know what? Ever since I took over this show, um, I've been wanting you'd be here. And I'm at the point now where I thought maybe the show was good enough to bring in the big guns. Well, thank you so much for that. And here you are. And, uh, you know, how, tell me just in, in a, a little bit of a nutshell, give me the history of Good Shot Judy and how long has it been a band? Uh, so Jeff and I, um, my brother Jeff, we, we grew up as punk rock musicians and later um, uh, rock musicians. Uh, and as we got older and got mortgages and children, the late night bar scene and the punk rock scene sort of, um, it wasn't as, I guess it, it just wasn't what we were interested in doing anymore. So we stopped playing music for a little while. And then mm -hmm. uh, jazz music was something I was always interested in ever since the beginning. Uh, and But it was something I just didn't know much about. Um, but eventually uh, I had tried to sing with local swing bands or big bands and, mm -hmm. and was always turned down. So eventually I thought, well, I guess I'll have to learn Stay piano myself <laughs> right? and I'll, I'll do this myself. So, right. um, so it began really as a Wednesday night thing with Jeff and I and we had a, a friend who plays drums and we really just got together and made cocktails and played a little music, goofed around and then um, and then something happened and it, it got serious and we started really right. caring about it. And uh, uh, then we met Brandon Musco uh, on alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, flute right. and clarinet. And, uh, and we had ourselves a little quartet. We started playing around and, right. um, uh, and we were fortunate enough to attract uh, the rest of these gentlemen as well sure. and, uh, and Chelsea. And, and so things sort of grew from there, but I'd say 2015 is when we really got serious. Right. Now, you know, there's, there's been so much talk about the band and the things that it's accomplished, and, and your net is just growing more and more, and, and people from out of the area, even tourists that are coming in the area now, they get excited when they see that you're playing at the lodge or you're playing at, at the, 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 what is that thing? Um, the, Wednesday night, the summer uh, breeze. Summer breeze. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, I had moment lapse. You know, I'm, I know I'm, how it I'm is. I'm not 20 anymore, and you know, it <laughs> yep. shows me that on a daily basis anymore. Sometimes when I'm reaching for information, and it doesn't just retrieve automatically like it used to. Anyway, that said, wh how do we label Good Shot Judy? Because I mean, there's a nostalgic blend in in some of the stuff that you do, but it's still cutting edge in a lot of ways. So, what do you call this music? Uh, we actually are, we have our own term that Brandon created uh, years ago, um, and we call it Big Amp Jazz. <laughs> oh, I like that. Uh, and that, that there's Big actually a story jazz. behind that. Tell so, me. So we were performing at a restaurant in uh, in Chester, Virginia. Uh-huh. And uh, was, I think it was just Jeff, Brandon, and I at the time. Okay. And uh, a woman was very unhappy, and we were on a patio, uh -huh. and she came, left her table, came over to uh, where we were, and said, can you all turn down those big amps? You it was Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> exactly. She was there? It sounded, <laughs> it sounded a lot like her. Yeah. And, and in my uh, what'd you say to her? gentle nature, I said, <laughs> well, you know, we can't do that. But what we can do is pack up and get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we didn't know. Oh, you know, gosh. So. You know, I said, sweetheart. You don't need to talk. Just sit down. I'm getting paid to talk, all right? Mm, that's funny. You know, I used to have a, an obnoxious button that I would wear to gigs when I was in college, and it says, if it's too loud, you're too old. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Oh, it's just too loud. I much. love those t-shirts. Right. I'm glad I've matured now, and I don't do those, <laughs> those yeah. risky things anymore. But, uh, you know, we all do struggle with that. But, you know, sometimes when your music is just undeniably great, people will just accept the volume and I'm sure nobody asks you to turn it down now do they uh, we don't hear that very often mm, I rarely yeah yeah not very often and I think it, that goes without saying as you build a fan base and people actually mm -hmm. are um, your fans are coming to see you that's never a thought in their head right. you know? um, we try to we try to not blow anyone's head off we want the volume sure. to be acceptable I mean, we do this 150 times or more right. a year Right. And so we're concerned about our own ears as well. Well, musician to musician, the greatest compliment I can give you guys is it has become a consideration to 
to all of us who book shows and, and plan to publicize events and stuff, we check your calendar before we book something now because nobody's going to come if Good Shot Judy's in town. Oh, wow. I'm flattered. <laughs> it's, well, I want that. you to understand that yeah. because it is a real consideration now because, you know, you guys really do command such a share of the audience that it's marvelous. And I'm so proud of what you do. Thank you so much, man. I'm, I really we're, am. We couldn't be more thrilled with the audiences and, um, and all the support from everyone. And, you know, it's, it just goes to show you um, that if, you know, you believe in something and you work hard mm -hmm. at it and, uh, and like the growing audience has always reinforced for me sure. that, hey, this, this music is not dead. This is, you know, we're doing this in a way that's entertaining mm -hmm. and enjoyable Absolutely. to experience. Yeah, I've had a couple of conversations over the years with Liza Minnelli, and Liza told me two things that I feel like are important to mention here. She said, one, first of all, true talent needs two things. It needs encouragement and opportunity. And obviously, you guys are finding abundance of both. She was, and she also told me that if you work hard and you really have the real deal talent, just it'll kick its way through a brick wall. You don't have to worry about it. It will find the people. And you are living proof that that has absolutely cool. happened. <laughs> Thank you for that. So it's marvelous. Thank you so much. Ryan. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And you know, the other thing that's important is all of you are such good musicians on your own that when you come up and you each have a job to do, you all do it in a way that you make it look effortless. And that's the secret to people having a good time is you just make it look like you're having a better time than the audience who is already <laughs> out of their minds with joy. So, and you, especially on that base, I watch you just, there's not a minute that you are not having a good time. And there's not a minute that you're not doing something that's fabulously entertaining. And it just sets the whole tone. Thank so, you very much. You know, I always tell everybody, I just have so much fun playing with all these guys. That I just I'm can't sure. help but move, you know? Absolutely. That is but the truth. Too. Jeff, you, you, you just are up there working every second and it's it's inspirational to other musicians to see you guys work as well um you know it's it's marvelous and i can't i can't say enough thank you thank you, thank you very much you. so this was designed to be part music show and part fan letter because you know I, I haven't had the chance to really <laughs> tell you guys from my own perspective of of the last six or seven times that i've seen you around town you know there's always so many people trying to get to you i don't always get to say it you know, but well, it's, for it's important. Yeah. All right, so we got a couple of commercials we're gonna uh, air and tell you a couple of messages from our sponsors, and then we're gonna come back and get your, your favorite chair ready, get yourself a little drink. We got about three and a half minutes until Good Shot Judy is gonna lay some music on you, and you are just gonna have the time of your life. I'm so excited about this Super <laughs> Sound Showcase, I really am. And we are sponsored by Culture Fix. This is FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740, and we will be right back after these messages. We are back with Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by our friends at Culture Fix, and this is FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. I am your host, Robert Hodge, and here we are with Good Shot Judy, and the moment has arrived where we get to hear this fantastic group of musicians make music that will make your head spin. You can live up to that, right? Oh, oh you can say that again. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, what's our first song? What uh, we're going to do uh, a piece. Uh, it's a Nat King Cole arrangement called Papa Loves Mambo. Oh. Good heavens, everybody loves that song. And you guys, I've heard you do it. It is absolutely brilliant. So enjoy. Good shot, Judy. One, two. Papa loves mambo. Mama loves mambo. Look at him swing with it, getting so gay with it, shouting and playing with it, wow. Ugh. Papa loves mambo, mama loves mambo. Papa does great with it, swings like a game with it, and he's swaying with it now. He goes to, she goes fro, ah, he goes fast, she goes slow. Uh, he goes left, she goes right. Papa's looking for mama, but mama is nowhere in sight. <laughs> Papa loves mambo, mama loves mambo. Young in the spring again, having that thing again, feeling that thing again. Wow. <laughs> Papa loves mambo. Play the rumba and play the samba. It's Papa loves mambo tonight. Ooh, he goes 
goes to She goes pro uh, He goes fast She goes slow uh, He goes left She goes right Papa's looking for mama But mama's nowhere in sight That's awesome. And you know what's so funny and what popped into my head at the end there is uh, a lot of times critics would talk about how a live act can sound like their records. You even gave me the fade out there. <laughs> that was really pretty amazing artistry, dude. You sound Thank just you. like a record in Thank here. You. We, uh, you know, it's funny, like, cause when you do something so many times, we uh, find new ways to entertain ourselves and, like, and make it better and better, improve it oh, yeah. more and more yeah. and more. So. Yeah. Well, I also found myself wanting to ask you specifically about your vocal approach because it's so laid back and it's so effortless. It's kind of evokes like the Perry Comos and all that. They just <laughs> had such a great sound. And it looked like it didn't like really take any any effort. Thank you so much. That's a, a that's brilliant. A wonderful compliment. I um, I, there was a, a ninety minute special called mm -hmm. the Sinatra Spectacular that right. uh, had a set from Dean Martin. Sure. That I must have watched a hundred times. He opened yeah. that show and sure. He was joking and playing the whole time, and then right. he opened his mouth, and you're like, oh my Belt god, comes out. yeah, it, it was really insane. Yeah, and you, so you're getting on on that train. Well, thank you very much. I, uh, it's really nice. I've studied, you know, a lot of the vocal approach from Bing Crosby and Dean Martin and sure. Matt King Cole, and I initially began as sort of imitations of those vocal mm -hmm. styles. Well, but you have your own over time, right? It's, it's melded into something that's mine. So, well, thank good. you. Very nicely done. What's the next song? How about uh, I want to be like you? Sure. Sounds good. All right. Here we go, boys. Oh, 
you, Brett. Of course you do. I'm on the Super Sound Showcase. <laughs> Oh, that's my favorite ending of any song ever. <laughs> I like that. And Chelsea, while we're stuck, you know, darling, you are magnificent with those harmonies. And how long have the two of you been singing together? Because you anticipate each other now in, in the most flawless manner ever. You're She's like my own right. personal Everly brother. I am. Well, you are just one. right for <laughs> every little bit of it. I would say it's, it's my favorite thing to do in the whole world, which is wow. one of the things that, you know, I've... People have asked me, like, oh, don't, wouldn't you prefer to do something solo? Wouldn't you prefer to do something by yourself? But, like, singing with Brett is what yeah. makes this so much fun right. for me and, and what I enjoy doing. And well, I Don't let him underpay you because your head is <laughs> really important. Here. No worries. No tough. worries. Are you getting paid? Oh, no. Yeah, it's right on it, Buzz. I like that. But, you know, it, uh, are, are, now, y'all are not family, are you? No. Because I'm telling you, you know, sometimes those familial harmonies are, are pretty hard to come by, but yes. it's almost like you, you have that magic together. The repetition. It's wonderful. The repetition is that definitely uh, helps a bit. <laughs> makes it work, for sure. Now, are you guys generally pretty much charted. I know that. But is there any improvisation going along? Because you've got me convinced that you are just flying on some kind of cloud. But is that all scripted? These guys, don't you? Add yeah, it's, it's, it's just kind of oh. just feel it out and you know, just do it. And after a while, I'm like, oh, that it's worked. Well, let's just keep doing it. And the yeah. last comment I have for you that that really was prevalent in my mind. I mean, nine years of my career and my life were spent in Manhattan. I was in New York for that number. You guys were in some little supper club in Manhattan, just tearing it up in my head. And <laughs> and you know, it's brilliant that Williamsburg. You know, we're so lucky because we have so many options. And as far as the local music scene is concerned, but you guys really do step it up into a bluesy, jazzy kind of New York atmosphere wherever you go. And that's something that nobody else is really offering on a consistent and quality basis in this area. So it, in you. my mind, that's a really important thing for you to bring to the table. Thank, Thank you very much. That's, yeah. that's kind of what we wanted it to feel yep. like. Yep, oh, it did. Mm -hmm. so I you. felt it right here in, <laughs> yeah. in just all kinds of quality. All right, so I hate that this is our last song, but what is it? All right, this uh, this little tune actually uh, that was written in the '60s and was made popular by uh, Willie Nelson um, initially, mm -hmm. but and then um, there's a group called from the UK called the Jive Aces, and this is their arrangement of it. It's uh, mm -hmm. a very Louis Prima. Feel what on is this. the song? It's, it's called "Bring Me Sunshine." Okay. It's actually my very favorite song. Well, your very favorite in the whole world? In the whole world. I never had one until I heard this song. <laughs> oh my People word. People would ask me that all the time. That says a lot. I'd always think my favorite song is a different song each week, you know, mm -hmm. but this one has, uh, has remained my favorite since I first heard it. Well, all right. Well, that goes Hope down like in, in uh, the record book. All right, let's Absolutely. put it down. Here we go. Bring me sunshine in your smile. Make me happy all the while In this world where we live There should be more happiness So much joy we can give To each brand new bright tomorrow Make me happy through the years Never bring me any tears Let your arms be as warm as the sun from up above Bring me fun, bring me sunshine, bring me love hey. And now ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Michelle Champ
Hey! Dr. Doobie did suit suit, bring me sunshine. Bring me sunshine. In your smile. In your smile. Make me happy. Make me happy. All the while. All the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness. So much joy we can give to each brand new bright tomorrow. Make me happy. Make me happy. Through the year. Through the year. Never bring me. Never bring me. Any tears. Any tears. Let your arms be as warm as the sun from up above. Bring me fun. Bring me sunshine. Bring me love. All right. It's one of those rare moments where I'm so sorry that we don't have a live studio audience to just yeah. cheer and go wild. <laughs> you know, because it seems like there should be a big ovation. Well, thank you. You, you know, guys are doing a nice job. that was yeah. so exciting. <laughs> and you know, I have to, uh, I just have to ask you, Britt, run around the room real quickly and just say the names of all these people because okay. I don't want anybody to not well, we'll get credit side. for this. Somebody asked me recently, like, where do you find a basis like that? And I said, babe, you, you raised don't him. find them, you raised them. Yeah, <laughs> you raised him, I know. They weren't, they're going to be like that. That's my brother, Jeff Cahoon. Awesome, man. And then over here on the snare drum. Buzz, you're killing from it, Richmond, dude. From Virginia, the legendary Buzz King. Yeah. yeah. This is Chelsea Champ. Uh-huh. Ellis Williams on trumpet. Kevin Marshburn on trombone. And Brandon Musco on alto sax, tenor sax. A local flute, legend, man. clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You guys are just delightful, and the, the energy is infectious. I know everybody was bouncing around at home, too. It was hard to stay in my chair, but I don't want to. <laughs> there are so many cameras and things in the way with all these people in the studio. I couldn't move very much at all. <laughs> but it was hard to contain myself, and, and I'm so grateful that you were here. And I hope that we won't wait long before you come back. Um, oh, we'd love to be back. Yeah. Now, before we, we I'd be... around the holidays. Maybe. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say that they have an enormous weekend of, of activity coming up. So let's let's tell everybody where they can find you this right. weekend and all beyond, whatever the big gigs are. at the Williamsburg Lodge. Um, tonight, our wow. There. We are there almost every Thursday. Okay. Um, this Friday, we will be appearing at Jamestown Jams, uh -huh. uh, which we are super excited That's about. Fun. This will be our first time out there. On Saturday, we will be at Hampton Block Party, okay. uh, which we have never completed a set there. We, uh, yeah, played, rain has not been your friend. We played has three, uh, three songs the first year and no songs the second year because of weather. And it looks like we have the forecast on our side this, this week. So, right. Um, and then Sunday, we will be at Virginia Beer Company, which is also one of our very favorite places to play. Right. So, so it is going to be an action-packed weekend and will be super fun. So come out and join us. Well, yeah, that sounds great. And if you would like to see Good Shot Judy, you just heard where you can find them. And how can they find your schedule? It's got to be on the web somewhere. Absolutely. You can find it at goodshotjudy.com. We have a, uh, a wonderful mailing list that's being managed by Jeff. Uh, and he will nice. keep you updated week in and week out of where we are. And there's also a calendar there. And you can also find us on Facebook as well. Well, and you know what? It is marvelous to find great musicians who are also great business people who are absolutely making it happen every moment. And honestly, you guys, there's so much to be proud of as a community. I want everybody to just realize what we have in our midst. So please get behind them, support their gigs, and make sure that they become the superstars that they should be. <laughs> Thank you because so much, Because you, you guys absolutely. are just You guys brilliant. have been too kind. Yep. Well, Thank you so I much mean, for having us here. You know, I've already got you here. I don't have any need to blow smoke. So. I'm saying things that I really mean, and I, I feel we these words deeply. Much. So Thank I couldn't you. couldn't say enough about you. So everybody, 
This has been one of my favorite episodes of Super Sound. And uh, thanks to Steve and to Jen and to uh, Shirley at, at Culture Fix for their sponsorship. And thank you all for the fact that you tune in every week to hear the music that comes your way and the talent that we discover sometimes and the talent that we like to seek out to promote. Because honestly, support local music is the most important thing for all of us who make our lives in music. And I'm no exception to that. I believe in it and I'm happy to be a part of it. So we leave you now. Back to the music that you love. Here is Barry Manilow with the classic. This is Daybreak.